What's up, Gunplay Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. Today I'm going to make an announcement on who won or which model kit I'm going to make next due to everyone's uh, voting request that I pushed up last week <clears throat> till now. But before I announce this, I actually wanted to review this magazine. I've been, um, um, you could say a subscriber of Fine Scale Modeler for quite some time because this is the magazine that I like to read um, and get some detailed information, some ideas, and things like that. Fine Scale Modeler is one of those, is an American based magazine that um, is here in the United States. It uh, publishes pretty much anything and everything about new model kits. Um, new products, techniques, tips, tricks, and reviews of newer kits that's going to be coming out soon. What we're looking at here is the January edition, 2013. And this is a special edition because this one comes with a bonus booklet. Look at that right now. The, mag the magazine retails at $5.59. No, excuse me, five ninety five. Sorry. Now the bonus booklet, which we'll review quickly because it's very small, is the best of airbrushing and finishing. This is a great um, reference tool for those of you who need to be, you know, brush up on your airbrushing skills, and of course for those of you who are new to this and you want to know some more detailed information. Here's an example of airbrushing skills of um, of this diorama. Very nice. How to create all drab look to uh, aircrafts. Weathering tanks. Pretty nice. This one's actually very nice. Digital camo on a. Um, on the F-16 um, fighter, 130 seconds ago, that's pretty nice. How to clean up and tune up your airbrush. This is great tutorial information. And how to create the um, bright finishes. Very good uh, reference material. I will definitely look at it at, at my leisure. Let's look at the new issue of uh, Fine Scale Modeler and see what we have here. To me, it always, always has a something in the front of the page, usually in reference to a 135th scale or 148th scale armored vehicles, but this is pretty nice. Some advertisement. Some, uh, some articles here that I have to look at. Some website that they're calling uh, called Squadron. Uh, okay, here's a very interesting. Um, wow, this is actually an interesting preview of a new type of submarine called this. Actually, no, this is actually uh, the company Mobius that's going to be releasing a, a submarine kit called the Skipjack, and it's going to be at 170 seconds ago. And based on the image here, it's going to be a huge, huge submarine. For you submarine fans out there, uh, let's see. Preview of Hobby Boss's T26 tank. Some LED parts and attachments to put on your Mo Mobius Cycl uh, Cylon Raider. Um, Airfix is releasing. I better show you this. Airfix is releasing a uh, new A4B aircraft at 170 second scale. And then here is pretty much the new products that's coming out in the next month or so. Some biplane from Wingnut, the um, 148 scale F-35B Lightning II, some uh, resin parts and aftermarket parts decals, Sutherland Mark I um, float plane. I always did like float planes. They really look cool. And the Fairy Swordfish Mark I float plane. Fairy, I think it's pronounced. 
Uh, I see up here in the corner Trumpeter's new Russian SU-30 MKK Flanker G. Trumpeter makes some amazing kits. I see some aircraft here. Some tank armor. There's Churchill. Uh, what the heck is that? Uh, 120, 122nd millimeter howitzer, Soviet. Some tank armor from Germany. Some Russian, some Russian armor. Uh, armored personnel carriers, Soviet T-64 mod. Valentine from AF, from AFV club, including a nice little vehicle. Here's the duster. I've been seeing that announcement for quite some time. Markova. Some tank arm. Uh, is that a tank? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is that a uh, train? Train, uh, train thing. Um, here's the ship parts. They're talking about the skipjack. Hobdoll Boss is releasing a Russian Navy Alpha Class SSN. Some uh, 135th scale uh, figure armor. Figure, uh, scale and some uh, miscellaneous parts usually the miscellaneous covers and also books and tools great wall hobbies releasing that type of aircraft now here in this uh, article it pretty much covers on how to apply some finish to a ship using of course airbrushing this is actually a very nice 1350 scale ship of the USS Ajax, HMS so, Ajax. The Air Cobra is one of those cool, unique aircrafts that I've seen every now and then. I've seen, I think, a program on the military channel. It's basically, um, it, it's nothing special to, to, to the eye. What's so cool about it is in the nose, the nose cannon is, has a massive 35mm cannon, which is basically an artillery piece. Great to take out armors and fortifications but looking at this what scale is this 148 scales pretty good detail on this kit I see yeah a lot of detail on this in this part of the magazine we have some uh, very good cool artist uh, gallery of submitted um, you know, model kits. It's a very nice Israeli uh, aircraft right there. There's, of course, the um, Colonial Viper, which from, I think this is from Mobius. Could be wrong. No, it's... Uh, I guess so. Yeah, Mobius, I'm sorry. And I just found out that Ravel is actually going to be re releasing some new um, some new Battlestar Galactica kits. It's a nice ship model here. Well, buggy, an artillery piece, nice ship model there. The P-38F, very nice. Now, one of the, of course, one of the subject lines, of course, on this magazine was I always do some sort of um, detailing of a specific kit, making all the better modern. So this detail of a um, of a submarine which has cutaway, which you can see the inside, is very good. Very good detail. And what you need to do to make it even better. I see some resin parts here to make the uh, engine. Oh, that's pretty cool. Some photo etch parts there, some wiring. You can really make a cool summary. Uh, here's some pictures of the IPMS USA Nationals 2012. Pretty much, <laughs> IPMS has holds these uh, sponsored uh, shows where uh, people can bring in their kits that can, you know, fully paint, you know, fully uh, made and detailed, and they show off the winner kits here. So, um, it's pretty nice. You gotta give props to these guys for amazing work that they do. That's a nice Harrier. 148 scale. Fire engine. 
I always get a kick at looking at huge ship models. This one's not that big. It's actually the one four fifth, uh, the five fortieth scale of the Ravel's USS Midway. I remember this kit a lot when I was a kid. Nice blue F sixteen Japan Japanese kit, Japanese um, type air aircraft. Um, that's a nice, a nice uh, bomber. TBM3 and it's a diorama where it actually drops look at that a diorama setup where it drops a torpedo some tank armor now the one of the cool thing about this is, is it'll show you how to make or give you the tools that you need to make your own decals at home and I guess it'll give you some step by step um, step by step information on what to do, what paper to get, of course what CAD program, and of course you need a printer. So it's pretty cool. Some history work of the of certain aircrafts and vehicles they'll always focus on. This will give you some, you know, ideas on what to do. This question and answer page will, you know, people have some questions and you can have answered and sometimes they'll give you some detailed information on what to do, some unique tools. Here's a comment here. Gerber baby food containers are handy for holding small parts and sub-assemblies. Very interesting idea. Skewers, sand, and a can are all you need to make sturdy, sturdy drying stands. Fair enough. I use, a, I use a foam board. Usually the foam board, so you guys understand, you could either buy them, which is ridiculous, or if you buy a TV or a VCR or some sort of appliance, the appliance will come in a box that has those foam uh, supports. Those are great for stands. Some advertisement, of course, here. And then we're getting to the point where that's the workbench review, which they review all upcoming v uh, um, model kits. First up is the uh, Tamiya's Elephant, which is a 135th scale. It's a massive kit. Retailing at $85 for those of you who are interested in getting the tank. We have Airfix's P51D Mustang. That's a new tooling, I'm assuming. This is a $7, this is like an $8 kit. So, great for, uh, great for beginners. Cyber Hobby Seeking HC. Four one seventy second scale for thirty five dollars. So, well, for it to be thirty five dollars at that scale, but it has from another company, it must have some amazing detail and parts. It says here this has one hundred and fifty five parts and three photo etched metals, while the Airfix one has fifty three parts and no photo etched metal. Uh, Hungarian thirty eight M Toldi I. Um, from Hobby Boss. This is a $48 kit, 135 second, 135th scale. This one, this tank has 452 parts and 20 photo etched metals. So, wow, this kit is fully loaded for you guys to make this. This is a company called Sword. They made the Harrier T Mark II, Mark II 2A TAV A. It's a it's a company I never heard of this company before, but uh, it's a thirty six dollar kit, one hundred and thirty nine parts, seventy six res photo etch metals, and one resin part. Wow! Ah, who does not know what this kit is? For those of you, for those who build um, Gundam kits, A and A made those specialized um, Gundam kits that you know has the ANA uh, logo on it and the colors but here's of course their aircraft which is a 1-200 scale kit from Hasogawa it's a $42 kit retail $42 it has 67 parts 10 photo itch metals and one bolt a bolt really I wonder what the bolt is for um, going back to Airfix Airfix is releasing in the Westland Lynx 148 scale, $49. Wow. 30, 331 parts, but no photo edge. And that's pretty much it. More advertisement. 
And the last advertisement on this magazine is Broncos 1 3 50th scale USS New York LPD 21 San, San Antonio class amphibious transport dock ship. This, uh, this ship comes with two Harriers, two AAVT, whatever, um, two armored vehicles, two tanks, two cars, uh, the Osprey, the Sea Knight, both either um, with the wings folded or not, uh, LCAC, Sea Dragon, and an MH60S. Wow. And of course, you can buy the vehicles separately, so you can add this kit, so you can have some sort of massive diorama. Last part of this is, of course, Italiard's release of the 135th scale PT-109 um, torpedo boat. Very nice. Well, I hope you guys like this review of Fine Scale Modeler. I'll definitely read it a little bit more... Uh, Slowly, you know, and uh, I'm you know, I want to relax and read, but stay tuned for me to build Master Grade Aegis. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. Take care.